Hello YouTube. This is that one guy Tim and I'm bringing you yet another tutorial. That's right, another one. I know. It's crazy. Anyways, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you or attempt to teach you how to encode using MEGUI and the real purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to take your subtitles that you either made using the tutorial that I already have up um, or to take your MKV files that are soft subbed and hard code the subtitles into the video that means embedding them in there so you can't turn them off and well let's go ahead and get started first of all you're gonna need some tools and the tools are listed right here you're going to need AVI Synth, MEGUI, the MKV Toolmix, MKV Extract GUI 2, and VS Filter. Now, don't worry, I'm going to have links up for all of these in the video description. So, don't even worry about where do I get them at? I don't know. Okay, so just look for them in there. Okay, first thing. Um, that we're gonna go over though there's some important things that you're gonna need to know like to get the subtitles and things out of your video you're gonna need the MKV extract GUI and to get that to run you're gonna need the MKV tool nix I know that's nuts right who would have ever thought so anyways once you install your MKV tool nix and you download the MKV extract GUI um, when you extract this you're going to need to put it in the folder that the MKV Toolnix installs to. That's right. And when you download the VS filter, it's going to come with two different versions. Use the later one, which is 2.39. Um, and what you're going to do with that is you're going to want to put it in the plugins folder of your AVI Synth install directory. So that would be like C, Program Files, AVI Synth, and then put it in the plugins folder very simple right good I'm glad you're all with me now um, so after you got all of that done what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up your MKV extract GUI and when you do it's gonna look like this right I know and then you're gonna take this put it in the input folder you can just drag and drop it like I did or you can use this button to browse to it and when you do that you're gonna get some things down here that pop up now first thing we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna want the subtitles so check mark there now if your MKV file um, came with an ASS file for subtitles and they have custom fonts or styles that I went over in my previous tutorial there's usually going to be fonts down here Okay, and it's going to say like attachment, blah, 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 true type font or whatever, and you'll see those. So just check mark them. Okay, when you're done, click the extract button and it'll start extracting. And when it's finished, there's going to be a pop up box that says extraction complete. And you're done with that. Okay, so if there's fonts that come with it though, um, what you're going to need to do next is you're going to want to install them and to install them you can if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7 you can just right click on the fonts and click install it's that simple if not if you're using Windows XP like I am you're gonna have to put them into your fonts folder and your Windows um, folder so that would be like C uh, Windows and then there's a folder called fonts you put them in there and it'll install now you're done with all of this so <clears throat> let's see what the next step is oh making your AVI send script now to do this open up notepad and I already have my script typed out here okay so if you're using an MKV file um, it's usually gonna be encoded in H264 so put DSS2 the parentheses quote and then the path to your video okay and then quote in parentheses press enter come down to the next line type text sub 
and then the very same thing as your video but this time you're gonna put your subtitles there okay don't even worry about this I have this just because I don't want to encode an entire video for this tutorial this is just basically what this is is telling the video that I only want from this frame to this frame in the video <clears throat> next you're gonna to want to save it so go to file save as down here type in whatever it is that you want so like blah dot AVS okay and then where it says save as type select all files and then click save you're done with making your AVI send script now if your video is an AVI file and you just want to add subs to that then that's very simple just type in AVI source and then the same thing is above now if your video for some reason won't open up using either AVI source or DSS2 type in direct show source and then what I have above okay and then you're done <clears throat> next we go on to using MEGUI that's a lot of steps but it doesn't take very long well it'll probably take quite a bit of time but still don't worry about it 